Welcome back. Same spot. This is Cass. We are in 1.18 Survival. And this episode specifically, this is what we accomplished last time. Nothing has changed. I immediately logged off last time. Our goal today is going to be setting up crops, I think, kind of along all of this. Like, not up here. But I am going to be gathering, um, I am going to be gathering and setting up, it's a pretty mushroom, some dirt, kind of mixed all through here, um, and make this entire area back here my farming area. But first, I think I want to go into the lush cave first because I really want glowberries to be growing down from this and I think getting them and putting them up here first before taking care of my, I was going to say my back area, <laughs> before taking care of all the farms would be more helpful. So we're going on to the lush cave first. Okay, so we just have to follow the rooted dirt down. You know, maybe should have made a shovel. So clearly there's a cave somewhere over here, but I believe if the rooted dirt keeps going directly down, then that means that we should totally be able to keep going down. Hopefully, that's what that means. Because <laughs> if the rooted dirt is still going down, the lush cave is still going to be lower. The nice thing is, is I'm not in hardcore, so if I die, I'm okay. And I think mentally that's a lot different to handle. Because I'm so used to trying to be so extra careful because of my hardcore worlds. That if I die and I lose everything, it is not the end of the world. This goes down. So far. Oh. This is not a lush cave either. <laughs> Where's my lush cave? I was promised. Okay, so there's our lush cave and... Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's go in. Whoa. This is crazy. Spore blossom or a... What do you call it? Um... <gasps> wow! Don't have a skeleton shoot me off. Let's light up some of this place a bit. I know that monsters can only spawn at light level zero. But my luck is, they're always going to come up behind me. Let's get our glowberries. So we can grow those. Got some pretty azaleas. And our moss. And I'm kind of excited to see more clay. Of course it leads to a mine shaft. I'm seeing that consistently, it seems like in pretty much everyone's world um, that everyone is coming across a mine shaft. Wow, it even extends over here. This is so cool. I really should have made shears and I don't have enough iron to do so. Wow, this is so cool. We do need more iron though, so we are gonna take this. I would love to find some diamonds. I mean, my real goal was finding the glowberries and we have been successful. Okay, let's find a good way down. A safe way down, hopefully somewhere. Maybe we'll just go down. I think we'll just end up going down. Let's pull these out of here and dig down. OK, 
Okay, we got some bones. Gosh, this is so cool. Okay, here come zombies. Hello. Oh, um. Hi. Wow, this is so cool. Let's pop some torches out here so other stuff just can't start spawning. I saw a creeper right there. Okay. Let's investigate this. I think we should take the lapis. Non-negotiable to me. I think that was it. Okay. I don't have enough room. I think the regular dirt is fine to dump. I also really don't need that, so I'd rather have the regular dirt back, to be honest. I should have maybe brought some more food. Okay. This is so pretty. This is so beautiful. This is my first time really seeing it in the game. This is so cool. Okay. Span some torches around. So I need... Gosh, it goes on even further over here. I need to get some of my iron going because I can't get these small ones without... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't get them without... Cheers. And I would like some of the small ones, too. Oh, this goes down way farther. Okay. I would jump, but I feel like I'm definitely going to miss the water. I just want to go explore a little bit down here. Um, see if we can kind of find anything different. This is just like a weird crack. Um, if not, we'll head back up and get our glow berries put up and then get started on our farms. I was hoping to find some diamond, but it looks like that might not be on our list right now, which is fine. Um, all the way down here, though, is negative 51. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, there's diamond. Okay. Let's just take a quick peek around these corners, make sure there's nothing that's gonna get us. Gosh, it just goes on. A glow squid! And tropical fish? That's weird. Oh, this is so beautiful. I kinda want a glow squiddy. I kinda want a glow squid. Do I even have room for him? I do. Diamond! Do I have... I do have space for it. Diamond! Yay! Bye, beautiful lush cave. We will come back and explore you even further at a later time. Definitely when we are searching for more diamonds, which is not right now. Right now, I just wanted to grab the glow berries and double check that this actually works coming down this way. Oh, I want to take this one too. Yay! So this is voiceover cast because I did a live stream where I had my mic off and I forgot to turn it back on while filming the second half of this video and the entire next one. <laughs> but we're back up placing our glow berries and our spore blossoms down on the big arch above our little house we're building and I think it will be so cool as they start to grow and then obviously bone mill allows you to be able to put the glow berries on them because sometimes they grow without it um, but here we are farming that was the next big thing I wanted to do and I felt like it was best to use the space to divide it up like this like every other and kind of make crops of random things this way I mean eventually I'm probably going to get to eating golden carrots and I don't really use the crops so I wanted to do something that was 
a little more aesthetically appealing, I guess. Um, and I kind of end up stretching them out over the whole back kind of water area behind the house. And I put some jungle um, pieces of wood down so I could get the cocoa beans growing. Will I ever make um, cookies or anything like that? Probably not. But I went out exploring a bit as well because I wanted to find carrots. And I end up getting beetroot seeds and carrots here. Only one carrot is all I could find in this village. Um, and so that's kind of what I run with. But I make a boat and we head out just to explore a little bit more. Just to kind of see what's beyond our little house. And here's a underground, not underground, underwater temple. So here's the cords. If I gave the seed, it's just Cassandra Lynn in all lowercase. So that's the cords to the underwater temple. If anyone wants to check out the seed. Um, but then I found the sunken ship all on land. Here's all the goodies. I was kind of hoping for diamonds in this, but I do end up finding diamonds in another one. But I did dig out all of this ship as much as I could. Um, and I think it's just difficult to work with the minimal space that you have. But we're over to this one. And I wanted to point out here where it says the chunk. It has to be a nine, a number, and the nine. And the chest is always, always down below that. So that's just a tip. I know a lot of people still don't know that one, but I myself, even in my hardcore world, have totally goofed it up. Um, and then here's the cords for this place. I did not go down on it, but I want to come back to it. And then another um, treasure chest where I don't think I found anything good. Just some more um, iron and gold. But then I find another uh, treasure treasure chest. Sunken treasure? Treasure map? <laughs> I find another one of those and it's literally right over here on the other side of the boat. Um, again, you'll see me looking at that same chunk, 9-9. It was one block down and I found some diamond in there. And I, you know, take everything out of here, of course. So I end up dumping stuff. But we bring my one lonely carrot back. Bring back the potatoes and then also put down the beetroot seeds to try to get things going more. And I do end up continuing to extend out the crop, kind of taking up the whole back area. And that was the glowberries and creating the crops was my goal for the day, or at least for this episode. So I feel really good having been able to start them and just trying to do things in different designs and lay out farms a different way. Um, and I think that's the most fun part to me of these survivals. So I plan to do one every update and start over. But here's my little farms and kind of all... <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but all that we were able to accomplish... In this episode, I've got my farm started, our glowberries up, and yeah, I mean, that's all I kind of wanted out of this, but I will see you guys in the next survival 1.18, and yeah, bye!